Hi, and welcome to a new episode of IT Conversations. The first episode in our brand new studio. And please look around, it's so awesome. Uh, we've spent the last, let's say, uh, year preparing to, uh, to get to this new studio. The last couple of months, we were actually building the new studio. And with the help of our partner, NOBS, uh, or NOBS, uh, we, uh, we managed to, uh, to get the studio uh, pretty much in time for, uh, for this first episode of IT Conversations. Now, this is a special episode. Besides the fact that we're you know, in the new studio, we're also going to talk about some new technologies. Um, and in this case, we're going to talk about the cloud control plane, uh, which is uh, pretty much new in, into uh, the VMware Horizon suite. To do that, I, I brought a guest into uh, today's video. It's Dennis Sigmel from VMware. Dennis, welcome. Yeah, happy to be here, Johan. Awesome. Um, yeah. So what can you tell our viewers about the cloud control plane? Let's start with what is it? What it is. Um, so we see more and more customers moving to cloud services like Office 365 and other services. And basically our Horizon Cloud Control Plane is our foundation to support the next generation of VDIs and applications from a cloud. Um, so we can use the Horizon Control Plane to support either desktops that are running on-premises in a hybrid uh, scenario where you might have a control plane from the cloud where your desktop's running locally. Uh, a hybrid case where your control plane is in the cloud, which your desktops can be on-premises and in the cloud, and can also be used for a full-stack uh, cloud uh, solution like uh, Horizon Cloud on Azure. So you can basically say it's the first real uh, hybrid, true hybrid cloud solution in which a customer can transparently use both cloud desktops from a uh, hyperscaler, but also the, the on-prem desktops that uh, that live in, in their own data center. Yeah, absolutely, Jan. So. Um, with the control plane, we support uh, Horizon on VMware on AWS, uh, on Google Cloud, um, on other partner managed clouds. So um, yeah, we, there's a lot of flexibility in uh, and options where you want to host your uh, your desktops, um, and this yeah, enables us to be the multi cloud environment for the customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Now um, it it brings real added value. Uh, to, a, to a customer environment. So can you um, explain our viewers some of those added values that, uh, that the Cloud Control Plane introduces? Absolutely. So one of the features that uh, uh, from conversations with customers is, uh, yeah, is really, really good and really nice is the Universal Broker. And the Universal Broker is our smart brokering mechanism, um, especially for multi-cloud uh, assignments or multi-pod assignments. Um, there's a broker layer on top of the, uh, of the solution, and it replaces actually the need of a global site load balancer, for example. Uh, that's no longer needed. There's a single FQDN, and the single FQDN can be used by users to yeah, to get broker to a location uh, yeah, based on the policies that you have on your environment. So it could be in an on-premise pod, could be in a cloud pod. Uh, so this is especially handy for yeah, if you have multiple pods somewhere Across, uh, across the globe and you want to have a single site uh, or a single entry for, uh, for your users to connect to. Okay. Uh, now, I also heard something about image management and that, that it simplifies image management. Can you explain our viewers uh, something about that? Yeah, so the image management feature is a really powerful feature that, um, that basically replicates your images across your different pods. So, for example, if you have multiple Horizon pods uh, in multiple data centers across the globe, um, so typically, um, you have to update your image on one side and then replicate your changes to a different side. And it's, it's a lot of manual work. Yeah. Uh, consumes a lot of time, so it, it's a costly manner to, uh, to update your images. So with the image management uh, feature that we have in our control plane, uh, you make the adjustment once on, uh, on one of the pods, and then we have a replication service that replicates the image to, towards the different sides. So you only have to do uh, your image changes once, and then uh, you're done for, uh, for all your uh, different uh, connected pods. Wow. So really powerful uh, feature. Now, what about monitoring? Because you, you were introducing new features into uh, to the stack, uh, yeah. and I also heard something about cloud monitoring. Can you explain something about that? Yeah, so CMS, or cloud monitoring feature, is uh, yeah, the next generation of monitoring uh, uh, embedded in our Horizon control plane. So it provides a single pane of glass to look at the health of your different pods. So where you typically, if you have multiple pods, you should connect to different pods and see the health. Uh, with the control plane, you have a single point, uh, pane of glass. 
and you have the condition, the health condition uh, of all your pods uh, visible in one location. Uh, it also includes a uh, help desk feature, uh, like we know from, uh, from our regular Horizon uh, tools. It's also included in the uh, control plane. So everything, uh, metrics, the condition of your environment, the different connected pods is visible from this one uh, location. Nice. Yeah. Now, um, uh, last year VMware introduced the universal license into um, uh, to the Horizon suite. Um, can you tell something about the relation between the universal license and the cloud control plane? Yeah, absolutely. So, like we see customers adopting more and more subscription services, cloud services, uh, the universal licenses are subscription service to Horizon. So, with the universal uh, license, you can either buy the subscription for a one-month period towards a three-year period. Uh, so, it allows customer to, yeah, to dynamically and flexible uh, workspace. So, they can scale up or down whenever they need. Um, so there are multiple use cases that we can think of uh, why you should use uh, or why you can use uh, the control plane, like DR, uh, data center extension, app co-location, uh, seasonal work. Uh, we also have some uh, customers that, that are using the subscription uh, for seasonal work, uh, where they have more demand in the summer, but less the demand in the, in the winter, for example. And with these subscription services, you, can, yeah, you have a flexible uh, way of uh, provisioning uh, resources. Uh, the universal license is needed to uh, make advantage of the control plane. So right. that's our licensing standard now, the, uh, based on subscriptions. And when you have the universal license, you get automatically an email that uh, to, you know, to get started with your control plane instance. Now, if a customer receives such an email, I can imagine if they want to get started, uh, it can be a, a bit of a challenge to, uh, to actually migrate towards the cloud control plane. Can you explain something about the, uh, the actual migration? Yeah. Uh, so you will think that's a challenge, but it's pretty straightforward. So when you have your control plane, there are two ways to connect to the control plane. If you have a fully cloud uh, solution like Horizon Cloud on Azure, uh, you can start deploying your infrastructure automatically, um, really straightforward uh, with a lot of automation. So that's one path. Um, and the other path is um, you don't need to migrate your resources to the control plane if you have an on-premise pod. Uh, the on-premise pod can be connected by the use of a connector. There's no need for, uh, yeah, for migration uh, from your on-premise pod to the control plane. So it's basically connecting to a connector server of appliance, uh, and you can start using the uh, control plane uh, for your benefits. Wow. And I briefly discussed uh, three of the features, but we have more advantages of using the control plane. Uh. Okay, Dennis, uh, thanks so much for explaining. You, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have more questions about the Cloud Control Plane, uh, please reach out using this link. Um, for now, again, thanks so much for watching and we'll definitely see you next time.